but you are weird. You are worthless. Why do we say these things to other people? We call this bullying. Bullying causes low confidence, a high rate of depression, and even suicide. I certainly have felt these feelings. Throughout third through fifth grade, I got bullied, badly. I got bullied because I didn't act like the standard boy. I got bullied because I like to do dance. One memory that still stands out to me the most is when someone said, you are so gay for doing dance. That day I ran home and cried for an hour straight. When you all grow up and have children of your own, would you like them to come home crying and feeling the same as I did and others? No, we have to put a stop to bullying. There are serious consequences caused by bullying, such as depression and suicide. How can we deal with this? These are big issues throughout life, and they are increasing <coughs> over the years from kids being bullied. According to Megan Myers Foundation, current research suggests that suicide attempts among kids have nearly doubled since 2008. This website all started with this girl named Megan Meyer. She hung herself three weeks before her 14th birthday. The reason she did this was because she was being called fat and a slut. Suicide doesn't just happen. The website Independent says that 55% of children who have been bullied develop depression, with more than one in three becoming suicidal or self-harming. As you can see, these consequences are terrible for all ages, especially middle schoolers. Being bullied is hard. No one is the same. We're all different for a reason. What I want all of you to do today is be an upstander to bullying, not a bystander. Everyone, stand up and be yourself. As Vincent Van Gogh said, if you hear a voice within you say you cannot paint, then all means paint, and that voice will be silenced.